Yo, so what's up people? It's been a long day, been at the studio pretty much all day. So vlog number two, let me show you guys what I got for y'all. All right, so let's get into the studio right quick. So uh, I guess first things first, some materials came in. I got a uh, red Cayman material with the relief on it, which is what I really wanted out of it. I like I like uh, fabrics with reliefs on it. I like that 3D feel, you know what I mean? So I got red, all blue. I'm not gonna say what the material is, but you know, it looks nice. I like the way it's designed. Got this reptilian gray right here with some, uh, the scales pop out a little bit too, as you can see right here. Got it in white. This is actually a um, suede white, suede white right here. Loving this, um, I don't know what to call it. Um, rainbow reflective flux without the black pattern fabric. This is gonna be fun right here. And a reflective material. You know, you can't see it now, but let me see if I can show you guys. There you go, you can see it's very reflective. So to put it in perspective, this is my hand in comparison to it. So this takes up all the light in the room. It's like an extremely strong reflective material. Love it. All right, let me bring you guys over here real quick. Well, let's see what's new on the table. Um, I guess first things first is I lasted. Well, not lasted. I uh, taped up one side of the shoes. I like to do one side of the shoe because it's the same design on both. So there's really no point in doing both sides. I haven't done the other side yet because, again, same design on both. And uh, I know how to alter it on this side. I've been taught that way. So, um, you know, to find the medium of it. So these are these right here. One, two, three, four are these designs over here wrapped on a shoe last. You get the actual shape and how it dries on each curve so you know where to place your actual fabric and once you cut this out this is a piece of fabric right here this is a piece right here this is a piece right here this is a piece right here so I'll go into that later once it's, once it's time for that let me show you guys what I have that came in I mean besides these materials other things are key cushioning is key and I'm loving this I did some research and I found these now this is like a padding right here it's about what a little bit smaller than a centimeter if not exactly a centimeter so perfect for the inside padding of the shoes for com you know comfortability you know, not something that's not too thick but you'll, you'll be able to feel it something like this or in the 750s maybe like there's a little bit of padding in here you know man because you know you don't want it to be too bulky inside here it just doesn't look too nice you know and then i also have another one that's even slimmer like this is like uh i don't i don't even know but i got a ruler matter of fact half a centimeter don't mind a dirty ruler has been put in been putting in work but a uh, half a centimeter here so even better so as i was saying i'm loving these paddings right here especially this one this foam piece right here when i make the uh air mag rocher lights you know with the hot top added on top of it I'm gonna use this to make the top part like that. It won't be as stiff as these. It's, these are clearly very stiff right here. You can hear it how stiff it is. This is a lot more foamy, and but it'll still hold the shape because you know I don't want it to be too stiff when I make the air mag light. So but that's for later on. All right, so I covered that. Covered that. When I got these shoe lights, they actually came in with these um, cutout shapes for the actual bottom of the shoe, which is actually very nice because um what what happens is you're you're gonna add the fabric on top of this, pretty much like this on top of this shoe. And the way you keep it on the actual shoe last is you put a piece of some type of like a stabilizer or a stiff material at the bottom that's flat, kind of like that. Let's say you do this. Oh, there it is, right here. I don't know exactly what this is called, but this is called an insole. This is an actual insole. That's what it really is. This is an insole. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna let you're gonna put it under the shoe lap. You're gonna put nails inside of it and keep it tight and wrap this fabric over top of this insole. So that's how it keeps stays in the form. That's how it won't come apart. You're gonna need this when you're making shoes. Very key. But back to these, an important thing about these is what a convenient thing. Convenient thing about these is you can just cut out, you order a big sheet of this, you place this on top of it, draw over it, cut it out, and you have the shape you need. Usually what you would do is take this actual shoe, place it down on the actual material and draw around it to get the shape and cut it but hey they bought they gave us these um cut out shapes and that's perfect and that's pretty much it for um the scad version you know making these shoes for the moment i'm still waiting on my sewing machine to come in once that comes in i can start sewing and that's a whole nother level so but in the meanwhile let me jump into the custom area real quick just a slight teaser show you guys what i've been working with so uh you know the rocher mags is pretty much my top dog custom i mean everyone loves those from what it seems like what i'm doing is i created a mold to put on the back you know the back piece i put on the air max air mag rocher they tend to be flat I'm making it round now just like the real ones pretty much making it round and it'll pretty much go on the back like this now this might seem a little bit bulbous for this shoe or really it I mean, kind of doesn't but I'm also, I also have to add the bottom piece to add the lights on, on the bottom of it so it'll stick out a little bit more at the bottom area but I'm gonna add this round uh, mold to it Wait, let, let it focus in real quick there we go it's gonna come up a little bit at the back kind of like the real mags it's gonna have the word Nike mag on it of course with the regular lights and I'm, I'm gonna make them now with the three rows with four lights each 
to me because you know I didn't want to do it because it took up too much space but now that I'm making it more bulbous it has more real estate to add these lights to it so a lot of updates coming to these you know rechargeable everything's gonna be behind here from now on now nothing inside the shoe besides the on and off button as I was saying I'm gonna add the red green and yellow lights and this is gonna be the new cover the real ones the bulbous ones before the one I had was kind of flat it's gonna have this new real bulbous one so pretty much this place is right here I mean it's, it's facing the wrong way but you get the idea you get the idea you know so let's say if I would have added on to this pretty much add it right here onto this you know it'll be behind the actual mold of course but with the red green and yellow lights in it so get ready for those that'll, that'll come in a little later on though and like I said it'll be rechargeable this will be this will be the rechargeable port so you're gonna you're gonna need your own uh wall outlet but uh, this cord will come with it because I'm using different types of red green and yellow lights now um they're gonna be a lot more efficient battery wise a lot easier to connect so should be real chills and I also got the real outsoles on the real max that have the pyramids you can see the pyramid let me see there you go you can see the pyramid popping out now the one I, the ones I had before were more was just a square these have the pyramids in them so I have these now and I'm gonna start using on them just something small you know it's not really that noticeable but it's just little things that count you know so a lot of upgrades coming to the Rocher mags Rocher air mag lights Yeezy Rochers yada 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 all that stuff a lot of updates over here and so ready for the next video V3 next time I should have these halfway sewn or fully sewn let's see how fast that works so until next time later